Where to from here? Hello, welcome to Dangerous Policy, a channel aimed at intelligent people who wanted to discuss important issues facing life and society. My name is Crispin, and today I just want to talk about where this channel is going. Uh, many of you have noticed that much of the audiences from Lithuania and Belarus and Sweden and uh, wonderful parts of the Baltic and the you know, Northeast European region, area that I love talking about, love being in, uh, and happy to continue to do that. Uh, and yet that was something I had never envisaged when I started this project. When I started this project, it was all about um, global issues, US, China, um, what's happening in the United States, um, global you know, issues around the world. Had no idea that it would be popular with this uh, this wonderful group of people, and uh, it seems that YouTube, in in its algorithms and its um, kind of ways of promoting videos, sees that sort of Lithuanians, for example, are very underserviced when it comes to YouTube content, and therefore really happy to promote it to to Lithuanian viewers, uh, and that has attracted a sort of a niche, and that niche is growing and expanding, and I'm very grateful for the audience that is. Um, accumulating in this way uh, and uh, I had a chat to Charlene about it and we're quite happy to make this a very Baltic century um, uh, sort of channel where we basically become a, a channel that keeps up with the news of what's going on in sort of you know Latvia and Estonia and Lithuania and Sweden and, and Belarus and Poland uh, and uh, just talk about those things as a foreigner with an outside perspective in terms of relations to Russia. And I can see a few um, advantages to that. One, as I say, YouTube really likes it, so we'll probably continue to grow at a, at a faster rate. Uh, secondly, I love going back to that part of the world and gives me a, keep, a continuous excuse to do that so as that I can keep you know, going out and doing interviews and do create new content. And also, uh, I'm not a hater in, in, in when it comes to sort of Russia or anybody else. So I can look at Russia and, and do videos about Russia that are pro-Russia um, but with the interest, the strong interest of the Baltic countries in mind, right? Like it's not, you know, an emotional thing in that way. Like uh, I can be emotional in terms of wanting a better future, but not really being there to kind of push any agenda. So say, look, there are certain things that are inalienable, the security and, and, and territorial integrity of the Baltic states, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia. Uh, but in the context of that, um, there is a future in which Russia is always going to be there. Therefore, there needs to be a way to to overcome, you know, the historical injustices and the and the pangs and anxieties of the past, and move towards a better future. But do that with, you know, absolute accountability, clear-eyed intention, proper reporting. You know, when um, something happens to Alexei Navalny, you know, be very serious about that. When there are protests in Belarus, really cover that. See, you know, the, what Lukashenko is doing to repress his own people. So those sorts of things. Um, you know, do need to be covered in an honest and truthful way. At the same time, I do want to kind of just be positive about things. Uh, and, I, and I feel like uh, when it comes to um, this region of the world, when it comes to uh, Lithuanian culture and history, uh, its influence on the world, what's happening with the EU, I, I feel like I can give a, a really good take on this stuff, really get it from a, from a bird's eye view, talking about the outsized influence and importance the Baltic states have on the rest of the world because it is one of the great global flashpoints. Uh, and that brings me to the next reason why I wouldn't mind making this a Baltic channel. And that is because the biggest issue in the world today, in my view, is the rise of China and the, the massive global shift in the balance of power between China and the United States. Uh, that is a, a, a huge thing and really does force the United States to think about how it is going to manage its eastern NATO borders, right? Because Europe is a land theater. This is something very important to think about for the American land forces, American army, but the Pacific is a naval theater. And so the United States investment going forward is going to be very much in building up naval capabilities and naval power at the expense of its land forces. So unless um, you know NATO itself really picks up the pieces and starts carrying its own weight and Germany starts spending its own defense, France starts spending its own defense and helping out the Baltic states, then we're going to have some real trouble down the line. 
uh, particularly if Russia finds itself revanchist or unstable. There's a lot of things that could go wrong. So keeping a focus on the Baltic states, talking about how it is connected with uh, the global power shift that is going on, it being one of the major flashpoints between uh, Russia and NATO, uh, as well as sort of Taiwan and Korea, the, 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 a real tense part of the world, even though, you know, if you're in the Baltic states, you wouldn't feel it day to day. From the perspective of the global chessboard, it is extremely important. So having someone talking about these issues and also just talking about the life and society and, and, and the possibility of, of reviving these great nations uh, is also a wonderful thing to talk about. So uh, irrespective of whether it becomes a Baltic channel or not, I'll definitely be doing a lot more content on the Baltic states because I just love that part of the world. Uh, but should it be a Baltic state sort of branded channel where, you know, in the intro I say, look, welcome to Dangerous Policy, where we talk about um, issues mostly in the Baltic and Nordic regions, um, you know, facing global power and so on. But, I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, I, it, it seems like YouTube is telling us that this is something that's really underserved, that, that there aren't enough people talking about what's happening for Vilnius and for Tallinn and for Riga, uh, what's happening with their politics, what's happening with their society, uh, what's happening with their international relations, and therefore that needs a channel to be specialized in that area. And I'd be happy to take on that, that great delight, that great opportunity to do that. But I want to make sure that, that it's something that the people actually want because it's one thing to sort of grow quickly and, and have that. But if the audience just thinks that you're pandering or, or that you, um, you're not really adding value uh, to, to their daily news cycle, their daily kind of understanding of stories, um, then it's not really it's not really going to be worth much, is it? It's not going to be worth their time. Uh, it becomes a bit of ephemeral if you feel like you're just kind of regurgitating to a, to a, a a very biased audience. Um, so yeah, just let me know what you think. Like, uh, do you get for those people that have been watching the channel for a while? When you see my Baltic content, is it something that you find extra value in? And I'm not just asking people from Lithuania, by the way. I'm talking about people from all around the world who do follow my channel. You know, do you want to see more of this content as the basis of this channel? Or are you happy with it just being sort of a monthly thing where if there's something uh, interesting that's happened or I'm following on for a new series that that I talk about that? I just don't know. This is a big question mark. Charlene and I have talked about it. I don't know. Um, like She's very you know keen to 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 just follow the audience and say, look, you know, people will value this. You enjoy talking about it. Why not? I don't have a good answer to that because I do enjoy talking about it. And it seems the audience do get value, but I actually want direct feedback because I could be wrong about that. And therefore, you know, if it's something that people will find maybe a bit boring, perhaps even if you live in that area, you might want to get more content from the rest of the world. So let me know your thoughts down below and we'll have that discussion because I, I'm really thinking that through at the moment. Certainly, even if it is a, a Baltic-centric channel i'll have all my asides i'll have instead of you know lithuania being the the focus sort of once a month lithuania will be the focus several times a week and then other things will be the focus from time to time that's kind of the vision that i have for it so if i want to talk about you know a role play game or if i want to talk about uh, what's happening in you know indonesia or my own country australia or i want to give advice on you know working in government and that sort of thing uh, that all of that is still accessible but the focus being on this Baltic region and the life and times of the Baltic states. Uh, I'm erring on that, but it's just, you know, it's, I don't know. I don't know. So please give me your feedback. I know this is a bit of a, uh, you know, a disorganized video, but it reflects my internal struggle about this. I want to make sure that the channel continues to grow, continues to add value, has something, it, it would become something I didn't originally envisage. But that is not a bad thing. That's actually, you know, the reason I'm considering doing this is because I, I, I think it could add value to, to the audience. And if that's the case, please let me know. If it's not, definitely let me know that because then we'll go in a different direction. Uh, thank you very much for just tuning in for this one. I apologize if it feels like a bit of a time waste, me just talking about my channel. But uh, hopefully just on, on a one-off, thank you very much. And I will see you next time.